Hello bookish friends, welcome to another Triple Tag Tuesday video. Uh, two weeks ago uh, I did uh, my first uh, Triple Tag Tuesday and I said that uh, many more would come and now I am doing three more tags in this video uh, too. Uh, I was tagged in uh, two of them uh, and uh, I really wanted to do one of them. Uh, today uh, I will first of all uh, do uh, this tag Aitken and Waterman book tag. This tag was originated by Jennifer Loves Books and uh, I was tagged by Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Thank you Alice for tagging me. I will link both of the videos down below. Uh, I have lots of uh, books to talk about today so let's get on with the questions. The first prompt is uh, You'll Never Stop Me From Loving You by Sonia. An author whose books you will automatically read uh, even though some of their books haven't lived up to your expectations. My default answer would be Agatha Christie, but uh, I want to uh, talk about another author. Although I do not read her uh, very, very often, uh, I know uh, when I read a Kristen Higgins book, I will enjoy the contemporary romance very, very much. Uh, so uh, I plan to read everything written by uh, this author. Question 2. You Spin Me Around by Dead or Alive. A book with so many twists and turns that you get dizzy. I think the book uh, that had uh, the most twists that I had read was uh, Sometimes I Lie by Ennis Feeney. This book uh, has many many plot twists uh, starting uh, from the half of the book and then uh, the twists come and come. Even though some of them seem very very predictable, the plot twist in the middle is very uh, prominent uh, and left me very very surprised. Question 3. Too Many Broken Hearts by Jason Donovan. A book that you broke your heart. Uh, I think it is A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Husseini. It is the book that I have uh, read and uh, shed the most tears. I literally had to put the book down uh, to, uh, to wipe out my uh, eyes uh, when I was reading this book. Question 4. Love in the First Degree by Bananarama. Your favorite fictional couple. I like uh, some of the heroes and some of the heroines uh, very very much in uh, other books as well but as a couple I really do like Anthony and Kate uh, in the second book in the Bridgerton series which is The Viscount Who Loved Me by Julia Quinn. Uh, I like them both equally and I think they are a great team and I have to say I cannot wait for the next season of Bridgerton's because it will focus on this couple. Question 5. I Should Be So Lucky by Kylie Minogue. A book by an Irish author, uh, it is Terror Road by Mi Binci. Mi Binci is also one of the authors that I will read anything from. Question 6. Say I'm your number one by Princess. Your favorite prize winning book. Uh, I had a uh, hit or miss with the prize winning books. But the one that I'm going to talk about uh, is my favorite middle grade book. And it has won numerous, numerous uh, awards. It is Wonder by R.G. Palaccio. Uh, it is a very emotional uh, book uh, that is also hopeful, uh, which is a great combination for a middle grade book. Uh, question 7. The Harder I Try by Brother Beyond. An author you just can't get into. Uh, I will talk about a Turkish author. Uh, I have tried to read Selim Ileri's uh, books. When I was a teenager, he was a very beloved author uh, among my friends. Uh, when I tried to read his books, uh, although I agreed with his ideals, I really hated his writing style. Because at that time, I was not a DNF'er. Uh, I, I, I suffered through uh, two of his books and then uh, I decided to get rid of the other ones that I bought. Question 8. Happening All Over Again by Lonnie Gordon. Your favorite series? Uh, or sequel. Uh, it is the Kingsbridge series by Ken Follett. I have read uh, four books uh, from the series and I have enjoyed every one of them. I really do like how Ken Follett structures his stories but it is the characters that he, that he creates uh, which makes the stories very very uh, engaging and emotional. Question 9. Toy Boy by Sinitta. Your favorite poet or poem? Uh, I'm not into uh, poetry. Uh, I have tried it but it is not my thing, but uh, I really do like the uh, message that uh, this poem gives, uh, which, which we read in high school. Uh, the Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Question 10. Uh, Together Forever by Rick Astley. 
The book that has been on your TBR the longest. Uh, I think it is the George Eliot collection book. Uh, I have bought that book uh, when I was in the uh, university and it has been more than 20 years. And I still haven't read a single story from that uh, book because it's huge. Uh, I will uh, definitely read one this year. Uh, and the bonus track is uh, especially for you by Kylie and Jason. Uh, recommend me a book you think I will love. Uh, I was tagged by Alice and Alice loves mysteries and thrillers uh, so uh, I don't know if she has read these books uh, but uh, I will recommend uh, Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz uh, and uh, Seven and Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Sir Thornton and the second tag is Your Answers Can't Be Books tag uh, this tag was originated by BookBuds uh, one of the channels that I really do like watching uh, they are two very good friends who also really loves books. Their conversations usually have a humor that I really do like. Uh, I always watch them with a smile on my face. And uh, in this tag I was tagged by Emily at Noel Knowles, uh, one of my dearest friends in booktube. Uh, I cannot say uh, enough about Emily. I will link both of their videos down below. The first prompt is uh, what is something that you own too many of other than books? Uh, I, I own I think too many handbags. I think I have uh, more than uh, 35 handbags uh, but, uh, but, but how many do I use regularly? Only two. So uh, it is definitely too many uh, to own uh, if, if I'm not using them regularly. Question 2. What is something that you do for fun that is not reading a book? My newest uh, interest is uh, trying to learn uh, a different language. But I do it very casually by using the Duolingo. Uh, I learned new words in Italian. But I was very glad when I read a three-word sentence in Italian in an, in an English book. And uh, I completely understood it. It's very fun for me. Question 3. What is something special or important on your nightstand that's not a book? Uh, it is the night lamp, uh, although it is related to books, uh, I also uh, use it uh, when I uh, sometimes watch Netflix in my iPad. Question 4. What's something that you buy at a bookstore other than books? Uh, I, I sometimes buy uh, puzzles uh, as a gift uh, for my nephews, uh, for my friends. I also have an excuse to uh, go to a bookstore, which is great, of course. Question 5. Uh, what is a fun gift that you received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books? A beautiful picture that was gifted to me by my best friend uh, when I turned 40 and uh, we have and I have an anecdote uh, to talk about. Uh, when we were about uh, 25, I think, uh, we watched a movie uh, starring uh, Brad Pitt and uh, we were talking about how old he was. I said uh, that uh, he recently turned uh, 40. And my friend was very, very upset. She exclaimed, Sen gel 40 yaşına bred. Which can be uh, sort of translated like, You come to 40 bread? And when I turned 40, she had made uh, this wonderful uh, picture. She added, uh, Sen gel 40 yaşına. Question 6. What's the YouTube channel that you watch that's not related to books? Uh, I watch uh, the YouTube channel of Graham Norton Show. And uh, I very recently fell into a rabbit hole of the best of compilations uh, from Graham Norton show, which had hilarious clips of uh, famous people. Question 7 is uh, tag 5 booktubers uh, that you want to learn more about. I will tag 5 booktubers when I finish my third tag as well, because uh, I want to tag uh, those 5 booktubers in all of the three tags and the tag that I was not tagged but I really wanted to do it when I saw it is the contradiction tag. The tag was originated by uh, if only if for a page and uh, I saw this in uh, my dear friend uh, Kevi's channel. I will link both of their videos down below too. The first question is uh, I love this genre but I didn't like this book. really do love historical fiction. Uh, but uh, I really did not like Family Sayings by Natalia Ginsburg. I read this when I was in the university uh, and I thought it was because of the translation. But uh, when I looked at some Goodreads review, I, I saw that 
uh, it was not the translation. <laughs> Question two. I rarely read this genre, but I loved this book. Uh, I rarely read a uh, horror genre, uh, but I really did like uh, a horror graphic novel series, uh, which is a uh, Lock and Key series by Joe Hill. Especially loved Volume 2 and Volume 5 uh, in this series. Question 3. I love this trope, but I didn't like this book. I really do love uh, gothic romance in which a big mansion is involved, such as uh, Jane Eyre, Rebecca. Uh, but I really did not like Thunder Heights by Phyllis Whitney. I have liked some Phyllis Whitney books, but this one uh, I found it uh, too predictable and uh, did not care for the main character. Question 4. I hate this trope, but I loved this book. Uh, hate is a strong word, uh, but I really dislike uh, love triangles in books, uh, but I have to say I loved the life triangle uh, in the Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Question 5. I love this author, but I didn't like this book. You know how much I love Agatha Christie, but I really did not like The Big Four, which is a Hercule Poirot mystery. But if the Hercule Poirot connection, which was, I think, very weak uh, in this book, was not used, uh, this book would have been better as for individual short stories. And this book is my least favorite. Uh, among the Agatha Christie books that I have read so far. Question 6. I previously disliked a book by this author, but I loved this book. I had read uh, The Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood uh, many, many years ago, and uh, I really disliked uh, the writing style. Uh, but this time, it could be because of the translation. Because when I read A Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, I thought uh, her writing style uh, was incredibly good. So it could be the translation, may, or maybe I have grown to uh, like her writing style much more uh, as I aged. Question 7. I love this cover, but I didn't like this book. Actually, I uh, took this book uh, out of the library because of its cover. The cover has very beautiful fall colors. Uzakta Kalanlar by Simge Bashta. I thought it would be a fun, a quick contemporary romance book. But I never thought uh, the writing style would be so simple. Of course, I DNF the book. Question 8. I don't like this cover, but I love this book. I have a problem with the uh, ratio of the uh, building uh, with in the cover. It needed to be bigger because it is a drawing of a very beautiful building. And it is very, very important in the story of The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett, of course. The five booktubers that I will tag are uh, Michelle Lexi. Kick up the storyteller, Lee Bancroft, Elizabeth Choi, and Bookworm Adventure Girl. You can do all of the three tags, or just choose one, or uh, two, uh, or do none. Uh, but uh, I really would like to know your answers in these uh, tags. So this was my second Triple Tag Tuesday video. Uh, please comment down below. Are you enjoying these uh, triple tag videos? And uh, if you're a new viewer, first of all, welcome. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon. Bye! As for Turkish word of the day, I'm going to choose triple. Triple means üçlü in Turkish and üçlü is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day!